Hello and welcome to ShiftNav. This is a quick start video to get you up and running with ShiftNav as quickly as possible. First, let's install ShiftNav. From your dashboard, go to Plugins, Add New. If you're using the light version, you can just type ShiftNav into the search bar and then click Install Now. If you're using the Pro version, grab the zip that you downloaded from 7spark.com. Click the Upload Plugin button and choose your ShiftNav Pro zip file. Then click Install Now. When the install completes, click Activate Plugin. If you had the light version active, ShiftNav Pro will attempt to deactivate it, but check to make sure that the deactivation has been successful. Now that ShiftNav is installed, let's take a look at the front end of the site. You'll see immediately that the ShiftNav toggle bar appears at the top of the site. If we click it, you'll see that the ShiftNav panel toggles open, but there's no menu. The alert prompts you to create a menu and assign it to the ShiftNav main location. We'll click the Create Menu link and it'll bring us right to the Appearance menu screen. If you already have a menu, you don't necessarily need to create a new one, though it often makes sense to maintain a streamlined menu specifically for your mobile users. Now we can create a new menu, which we'll call My Shift Nav Menu for the purposes of this tutorial. Click Create Menu. And now we will add some items. Now we'll save our menu and take a look at the front end. And if we toggle open the menu, you'll see that we still don't have a menu here here. And it says that we still need to assign a menu. So let's click on that and we'll assign our new menu to the ShiftNav main theme location. And let's also assign that to the primary menu just so that we have something there. Now when we refresh the front end, we'll see our menu appear when we toggle open the ShiftNav panel. And there it is. Now, ShiftNav is designed to be a mobile menu, so assuming you don't want ShiftNav to display on your desktop site, we need to tell ShiftNav below what viewport width it should be displayed. In the admin, we'll go to the ShiftNav control panel via Appearance ShiftNav and click the toggle bar tab. Now we set the toggle breakpoint. You can set this to whatever you like, but it does depend somewhat on your site design. So let's take a look at the front end. And if we adjust our viewport width, we'll see that the theme's default menu collapses at about 955 pixels. So below this point, it turns into the mobile menu. So that'll be a good breakpoint for us to use. So let's set our toggle breakpoint to 955. Don't include the PX at the end. And then we'll save our settings. Now if we refresh our front end, we'll see that ShiftNav does not appear on our desktop sized site, but if we reduce our viewport, now it appears before below 955 pixels. But you might notice that the themes menu is also being displayed. In most cases, you want to replace the themes mobile menu and use ShiftNav instead. So you just need to tell ShiftNav the the selector of the element in the theme that should be hidden when ShiftNav is visible. So if we inspect this element, 
we'll see that it has a class of secondary toggle. We want to hide that element when shift nav is visible, so we add that selector in the hide theme menu setting in the shift nav control panel. Remember, if it's a class, you put a dot in front of it, and if it's an ID, you put the hashtag in front of it. In this case, we're working with a class. Note that if you're using Uber Menu 3 as your main menu and want to hide it, you can check the box here. Though if your theme wraps Uber Menu in additional navigation elements, you may still need to provide a theme selector to hide it appropriately. Now if we save our changes, and refresh the front end, you'll see that the themes menu here appears above the 955 pixel breakpoint, and then below the 955 pixel breakpoint, the shift nav toggle bar appears and the themes menu is hidden. So now shift nav is installed and configured on your site. You can configure the menu further via the control panel. The main shift nav settings tab controls the default shift nav panel that slides out when you click the toggle bar. That is this panel on the left here. For example, we can change the skin of the menu. If we're using the pro version, you can add additional content around the menu such as a logo or custom content above or below the, the menu itself, such as Google Maps or search bars. The toggle bar tab controls the default shift nav toggle bar at the top of the site. That's this bar that appears at the top here. In addition to the settings we already configured, you can change the content of the toggle bar, its alignment, colors, and more. In the general settings tab, you can add custom CSS and configure a variety of other global settings, each of which has a description that you can read through if you'd like. In the updates tab, if you're using the pro version, you can enter your license code and receive update alerts when there are new versions available. You can also change settings for individual menu items by visiting Appearance, Menus, and then clicking the Shift button that appears when you hover over any menu item. If you're using the Pro version, you can set an icon for each item, as well as configure the submenu types independently here. And that's a quick intro to ShiftNav. Please visit the knowledge base for more in-depth information on plugin configuration and usage. Enjoy!